Uh, okay, so we have a crop. That's the line that it wants. Maybe. Um, maybe not. What if we do that one? Nope. Doesn't do it. That does. That does. Okay, just wanna yeah, we can go back. Ooh. So like that. Oh, uh, I heard something slide. Something move. Oh, no, no. Oh, it took those away. So, what's next? Four. Or two and four. That's all locked in position. Okay, that was more luck than judgment. Egyptian relic. Uh huh. Is that all I needed? Uh huh. I wonder if. Yes, it was. Alright, so you have to sneak on this one. You have to avoid the red things. Okay, so we go down, across, up, forward, diagonal, up, diagonal. I oh, thought that was right. Down. No, okay. Now oh, that got it. Okay, another card. Remorse. Bring something that was lost. Well, that 
make sense starting off. A miniature wardrobe. Can we use the new? No. No, you can't use the wardrobe in here. That's what's used to bring him out. Oh. Um, it's gone in there. There we go. Key uh, to which we go out here, open you, grab you, drop that in there, open that. Get the cog, bring that down, go back in, and we should be able to put the cog. In situ, which brings this guy out. You gonna hit me? Uh, I'm guessing we want him a wooden figure. Now, given that the last one was an Egyptian figure. I'm going to go on the mad dash and get say that's what we need. <coughs> oh, yeah. Right. So. That's that one. Uh, okay, so we take this one down, across, up, through, through, there. That did the trick. Tower. Take the light from the tower, what could that mean? Good question. Yeah, this is from another one of the room games. Ah, perspective puzzle, huh? Okay. Okay. So how? Um, 
None of these things are the same as what I have. I suppose. No. Where do you want me to project it? No. Oh, where do you want me to project it? Is there a surface that you want? Okay, let's have a look at our locations. There. Uh, that one's over there. Uh, that one's behind me. Bit more. And then nope. Around that way. Polished crystal. Oh, I'm guessing that's all we need from here. Shine the light, you crazy diamond. And pop. Ba, ba, ba. Ooh. Take this artifact to him. He will believe he has won, that he has bested us both. Once he abandons you, I will open the path to the source of his power, and together we can turn against him. someone. There's a saying, the door is open. Okay. Get the definite vibe that they want you to go this way. Yep. So, there's our curious artifact. Four for four. Let's see where this takes us, shall we? Oh, you can come, 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 come. Well done, detective. That head which had a, a, no idea of the power she is toying with. It's fortunate that she was only a casualty of her ignorance. Now we have this final artifact. Our great work can begin. Summon me with this letter and I'll free you from your task. That way? Okay. That's the witch. Th 
the white doorway is open, we can't leave him in possession of something so dangerous. I'll create a path for you now, follow it to the end and find a way to bring him back. Must answer for what he's done. Uh huh. I'm guessing that away. Are we gonna get milk choice? No. We're on a road to nowhere. Where am I now? I must find him. Oh, that's quite a contrast. No. Okay, here. Ah, this could have been the dig site. And an abandoned excavation cap. Okay, we're going on lots of missing pages. Abandoned. We're on the journey to somewhere. Ah, uh, so Wednesday the 12th, 1908. My third week with the expedition. Nobody has recognised me. Nobody suspects a lowly porter. Bulls continue to search in the wrong side of the valley. They found something, and for the moment I thought they beat me to the temple. But it was just a burial site. Let them fawn over the golden trinkets, it'll be distract them from the real treasure. Uh huh. Following week. At last, after all this time, I finally found the temple. Yeah, well. Temple's a bit much. Ah, uh, yeah, it's waited for me for a millennia, buried safely under tons of sand. Extraordinarily, the power emitting from the knoll far exceeds that of anything I've witnessed before. The tether is holding firmly. I've begun to take in my apparatus. Ah, uh, what's going to be nice? Coat hanger. Uh, okay, well, that solves that problem. Ooh. Nothing strange. Apparatus. Cables. Uh, I'm guessing we take that out. Brings those counterweights. Uh, that's pretty sturdy wiring cable for that light to survive that much pressure. Ah. So what do we have here? A carved wooden symbol. That's the plan. A carved wooden symbol with a mirror. Nothing else. It's where the triangular thingy goes. 
Another carved wooden symbol. Uh, a couple of days later, the temple is remarkable construction. Even after days spent exploring its passages, it never ceases to astound me. It is simply breathtaking. I discovered several carved symbols which match the recess on the wall of the main chamber. Though nothing happens when I place them, perhaps I am missing something. They must bring him back. A carved wooden symbol. Okay, let's have a look. So we need somewhere to put all these things. Aha! Uh, you go there. You go there. Spiky Dikey goes there. And the eye goes there. Oh, you're a handle. Out there. Yeah, out there. Let's carry on onward. Ooh. So we've got two statues repeated quite many times. Ooh. You don't look happy about things. Neither do you. You gonna let me get away with this? Robbery? Apparently you are. So I'm guessing... Yep. Is it that one? Yes, it is. Oh, that's a neat... Oh, no. It was really neat up until I saw the tentacles. Okay. And you. And you. You probably. Captured him. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. His essence? Ooh. His essence? Which are free those people? Ooh. Oh. All the souls over time that he's captured in his constructions. Hey, does that mean I'm going home? Does. I'm back. I can't believe I made it back. Ooh, something travelled on the ether. You have done well, Watcher. The old man's gamble failed, and his masters have been have collected their debt. 
justice has been served, but we must remain cautious. There are many who would try to harness these forces now that your eyes have been opened. Hope you continue to see. Be vigilant, detective. So we can go outside. Hey, Cyber so Prophet One, Detective Bloomsbury, congratulations, you have written the craftsman and escaped the dark realm of the null. Thank you for playing the room VR. A dark matter. We hope you enjoyed your game, Farpus Games. Yes, I have. Okay, that is the room VR. I am really happy that I actually played it to completion. Um, in a video that's going to be coming up recently, um, I'm playing with the idea of perhaps doing the room games as a side project, but more about that in that video. But yeah, I do like these puzzlers. I'm not as bright as some people, but I muddle my way through, and I get to the end. Maybe not always the best end, but I get there. Um, it was interesting reading comments about the first parts going up, and um, yeah, um, the, this this takes place in 1908, but I think that uh, because it deals with space. I also think it deals with time. So as to when this each section is set, I don't know. Because you could be then jumping to and forward from different locations in space and time. So as to where it fits in, given the fact that it does a call back to the first room game and the third one, I think it is. Or is it the second? Ah, uh, it's hard to s No, the third one is more room. The tower is the second one. Yeah, that's right. So, there's like callbacks to that, which is great. So, yes. Um, not much voice work to comment on, but for an escape room to transition from a mobile game to a full VR product, it's amazing what they've done with it. Um, it seems really realistic. Um, the reason the game is as short as it is to play because they implemented the teleporting around different locations because if you had free roam, you would get sidetracked in all the little bits of detail that they got in the entire environment. And it's how the previous room games had worked, is you click on different locations inside the scene and explore to that end. And it transitions really well to VR, because it, it hasn't got to really cope with your motion, so Instead of having to update the graphics in motion, it just has to keep a high-end graphics in the location that you are. And it just works so well. Oh, I hope they do more like this. I really do. Or that this inspires other companies in the way to do room escape games. I mean, I've tried a, quite a few um, escape room style games and especially on PSVR and some of the puzzles are really abstract however with this game it does feel like there is kind of a common thread through them all just sometimes I can't spot it so easily so yeah if you have VR um, what are you doing watching this video try and find a copy of this game and play it Seriously, you've just spoiled yourself. But yes, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Until next time, have a good one.